over my favorites for January, my beauty favorites for January. Most of them are ones that I've used before, kind of like a rediscovery month. So I should say a lot of these favorites are ones that I have had for the last couple months, but it's been a while since I've done a favorites video. So that might be why some of these I've loved for a while. It hasn't been just January. It's maybe been like closer to three or four months. So to start, I have the uh, for foundation, I've been loving the Ready Set Gorgeous, Gorgeous foundation from CoverGirl. So when I'm self tanning, I use 115. I'm almost out of it because I used a lot in the last little bit. And then when I'm not self tanning, I use 105 or sometimes a mix between the two. Um, 115 is buff beige, buff beige, buff beige. Got it. And 105 is classic ivory. Now what I love about these is that they they wear really well throughout the day. They're not too high coverage, they're more of a medium that can, it's, it's really buildable too, so I enjoy that. It can also be sheared out too, which I like, since I don't like very high coverage foundation. And next I have my Beauty Blender. Now this is the new one that I just got that is the uh, Bubble. It's not any different that I can tell. I think the only difference is the color. This one is it totally looks white, but actually when I first got it and when it, and I think when it's not wet, it looks more of the light pink tone and also it's pretty dirty. Sorry. Um, but I promise I did wash it, just not very thoroughly. Um, anyway, but yeah, I've really been enjoying using the Beauty Blender to apply my foundation and also my concealer. I've always used it for my concealer, but within the last few months or so, I've really enjoyed using it for my foundation when I'm using a, not a tinted moisturizer, but like a foundation foundation. It's, I really love the way that it applies and like makes it stick to my skin better. Next is the Essie. Uh, this is one of the Gel Couture from the Gel Couture line. And this is in the shade Style and Excess, which is a really nice, um, I don't know, light lilac. It looks very similar to what I'm wearing on my nails right now, but what I'm wearing on my nails right now is actually Essie Goginza. But I really have been enjoying this color lately, the like soft color that's not a neutral because I don't, usually in January I'm all about the neutrals on my nails, but this month I want color. I've been more going for color on my lips, or not going for color on my lips, except for today. Um, <laughs> but color on my nails and like all the other gel couture um, colors. I believe I wrote a blog post with this one in it um, when they first came out, so I'll link that below. They go on wonderfully. You don't need a base coat with these ones and they last really well. Yeah, the brush is fantastic. It's like a thicker brush. You can do like your whole nail in basically one swipe. Maybe two. Next is the Hourglass a Lighting Edit Surreal Light. There, sorry, the Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light. So this palette looks like this. It's basically got everything you need. So it's got a blush, a bronzer, a finishing powder. Actually, two blushes, a bronzer, a finishing powder, and a strobe, strobing powder or highlight. This is basically like a one and done kind of thing. It's got the bronzer that it has is fantastic. It's like when you put it on your brush you think oh it's not going to do anything there's not going to be any color on this but it i don't know it's sneaky not matte but it's not glittery like it has shimmer in it but it's i don't find it to be that noticeable when it's on the skin it just looks like nice flowy dewy so I love the bronzer, but also I love the blushes because there's one that's a little more um, like a nude blush and one that's more of a peachy pink. I usually reach for this quite often and I'm really, really loving it. All the shades are exclusive to this palette, um, which is actually still available. I totally thought it would have been sold out. I know, but it's not, which is good for you. So there you go. Uh, next I have the uh, CoverGirl So Lashy, yes, So Lashy Blast Pro Mascara. This is one that has, um, it's a plastic one, and then it's got like a little weird tip on it. 
Now this one is really good for lengthening, lengthening and defining my lashes. It doesn't give very much volume, but if I go into the second coat and just go like on the root of my lashes, then it's pretty good. The issue that I have with this one is that it's not great for my bottom lashes. I'm not sure what it is, if it's the wand or if it's the actual mascara, but it doesn't really work on my bottom lashes, so I have to use another mascara, which is fine because I usually have more than one mascara on the go. Yeah, this one is really good for giving me good, like, their lashes. So next I have two eyeshadow palettes that I have been loving. This one is the Naked Ultra Basics from Urban Decay. Um, this one, I did a blog post all about this one a couple months ago, like when it came out. So it's got like all these really good um, shades here. All matte except for one, which is a like a demi matte or satin. One. Um, so it's got some a good mix of warm tones, of neutral tones, and cool tones. So it's really good for either just my everyday, um, if I just want a matte eye, or also it's really good in conjunction with other uh, palettes that I have for shadows if I want just a really good base. Dude, this is perfect. And next is the this is the Joe Fresh um, eyeshadow palette, the neutrals. I don't think there's a non-neutral palette, not that I've seen. Anyway, this you can find Joe Fresh makeup at Superstore or at Shoppers Drug Mart. Though I don't think I've seen this palette at any shoppers. But maybe maybe it's out there now. So this has just a really good collection of just your basic neutrals. And there are a few mattes. So there's this one is a matte. And then these this one and this one and this one. Um, so there's a lot of really good browns, um, a couple like one more champagne tone, a bronzy, coppery tone. Now this one I really like for when I just want a nice simple, not a statement I not that I ever go for statement makeup, minus a lip. This is just a really good um, basics palette. Not that I need it anymore, but it's good. Also, it's like $12. So, and also, uh, the packaging totally reminds me of something from Tom Ford. You can see, like, with the NJF. I, I like that. It makes it look a little more classy, a little more expensive than it actually is. But yeah, I use this for most days when I, I want something on my lids, but I don't want it to clash or compete with anything else I have going on my face or my outfit or anything like that. So, I really... I really like this one for that. And it's basically got every neutral shade you need. So next I have the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I used this a long time ago. I mean, not a long time ago, it was like a year ago. I used it and finished it and loved it. And then I went through a phase thinking maybe there's something else that I could use. Like, I used the MAC um, Paint Pot and Painterly, and that one is pretty good. I. I don't, maybe that's the only thing I used. Um, but then I realized that my eyeshadow wasn't staying as long as I wanted it to. So I have to go back to this. And it's by far the best I've ever used. I actually, I used to think that the Urban Decay one was better. But I actually think this one is better than the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. Because I have um, pretty oily eyelids. Not like super oily eyelids, but they just like soak up everything. So I need something like this to um, give any of my eyeshadow a chance to stay. I can't. All right, and next is the lipstick from Rimmel, one of the Kate Nude ones. This one is in, so it's the Last Name Finish by Kate Lipstick in number 45. This is what I've been wearing on my lips for like the last two months straight, maybe, maybe three months. Maybe three months I've been wearing this. Maybe it's just two. I don't remember when I bought it. But it's amazing. I used to hate nude lipstick. Like, hate it. Like, think it was ridiculous and stupid. And thought, well, if I want, like, a nude color, I'll just wear a gloss. I don't need a lipstick. Um, but then, yeah, this has been amazing and perfect. It is 
I like my lips, you know, my lips a bit better. Um, my lips, but slightly more brown. But it's not too brown, because I can't stand the look of brown lipstick on me. It just doesn't work. I need, like, a pink in it. It's like, to me, it's like a Max Cream Cup uh, with just, like, less pink in it. So it's perfect uh, for me, and it's what I've been wearing basically all the time. And last I have, um, which is not a makeup or any a beauty, well it's a beauty related product, um, is Pretty Honest by Sally Hughes. I bought this like a year ago maybe, maybe more than a year ago. Um, and I started reading it in the summer, I think. I read a couple chapters here and there, but just within the last month, or at the beginning of the month I think it was, I just read it all the way through. I posted a review on my blog last week so you can see that. I'll put a link below. Um, but this is the best beauty book I've ever read. Sally is amazing and I love everything that she says. I mean some things we may not agree on but for the most part we agree on a lot in regards to beauty. Um, there's just so much in here from um, how to apply your makeup to um, philosophies on makeup um, and with thrown in in there are some anecdotes of her life in the beauty industry she's been a writer a beauty writer for about 20 plus years I think she knows her stuff she knows what's up um, so yeah I would highly recommend this to anybody that loves me don't forget to check out my blog which I'll link down below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe right, that's it see you later bye